Hi everybody, it's Julia from Mathis and Travel coming to you once again from San Francisco back home. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the whole concept of addition by subtraction. Um, you hear about that a lot with teams, um, either sports teams or even work teams, where you know maybe you've got one element or one extra person or something that is kind of pulling the productivity down, or they're they're just not helping uh, make the make the team really productive. And I sometimes can you can apply this to vacation planning in a way because a lot of times when people you know they have a set amount of time, maybe two weeks off for a vacation, they want to pack everything in. And if you really, you know, even pull one or two of those destinations out of your plan, you can have a much, much better trip. You know, for example, if you've got two weeks off and you say want to go to Europe and you want to get a really good idea of Europe, well, instead of going from London to Paris to Rome to Venice or, or Berlin or, you know, London, Paris, Madrid, Barcelona, something like that, something with four or five destinations, kind of the old school way of doing it. You know, if you think about it, first of all, flying there and back, that takes two days out. So you really only have 12 and a half days. And then if you're going to all these different cities, you know, generally flying or taking the train there is going to take up a large part of your day. So especially if you're going to four or five destination, that's four or five days of travel. So that really only leaves you two days maybe ish in every city to really explore it and you know if you're going to say Europe or you know these capital cities you know they're big and historic and culturally rich and all that and you really need more than two days to explore each of them so you know if using that addition by subtraction kind of theory you know if you only go to two or three destinations two or three major cities or two or three locations that really cuts down the amount of time you have to travel while you're on your trip and it really allows you to really focus in I mean for example you know if you've got two weeks off some people might think that just you know doing London and Paris would be way that's way not enough oh I won't see enough at all but that's not really true because those cities are strategically located in their countries and there are tons of really great day trips you can do that really help you would help you get to know those cities for example in london you know spending five days in london is easy because you could do a day trip out to bath or out to the cotswolds and see the countryside or you could take a half a day and go up to see the harry potter studios which is one of my favorite days on the worth on the earth um i loved that um or you know winchester i mean there's just so many different options that are a day trip or a half day trip out of london same thing with paris you've got versailles which a lot of people do and you could do that in a half day but you could go down to the loire and see all the different chateaux you can go out to the champagne region and do some tastings you know i mean there are just so many different things right outside of paris as well so to me you know doing a, several days four or five days in each one of those cities is much more rich and much more relaxing and much more enjoyable than trying to do four different cities in four different countries in a two week period of time. Um, you know, that's one of the things about river cruising, which is why river cruising is so popular because often in such a small amount of time, you can see many places because you're floating along the river and you're only unpacking once and a lot of times you're traveling at night. So you do get to pack a little bit more into like say a river cruise, but those bus tours of, of, of old where you see, you know, every, you know, it's Tuesday, it must be Belgium, whatever you see a different city and every other day, those are really starting to fall by the wayside because people are really learning that when you're traveling every day, you're getting back on a bus or in the car or on a train or flying every other day. That's what you're thinking about. You're thinking about, oh God, I only have a couple hours to really, you know, understand Rome. Well, that's ridiculous. Rome's amazing and it deserves to really, you know, have some time to breathe and marinate and, you know, sit at a cafe and enjoy tons and tons of food. I mean, come on. Uh, so that's one of the things that I really try and help my clients uh, focus on, you know, is, is really, okay, you want to see everything. I get it. Everything's really cool. You want to see it all. But if you focus your trip on, you know, two or three destinations instead of 10, you'll have a much, much better vacation. So that's one of the things I wanted you to think about this week when you're thinking about your summer vacations. Um, so that's it for this week. I'll talk to you next week.